What do you guys think of the Epic Games lawsuit against Apple? It's the most amazing thing ever ha it's that have happened. <laughs> ever. Ah, okay. Uh, fancy, what do you think? Okay, so it. basically, okay. You know, as a as a developer, right, or or any of that thing, you know, game developer or app developer or whatever, um, you are required to follow certain rules from Google. Uh, uh, Play Store and from um, Apple Store too. So one of those rules uh, is that 30% uh, uh, of the money that sh uh, of uh, no, yeah, 30% of the money that you're gonna that gonna come to you will be going going to Apple, right? So what Epic Game did is that they pulled uh, a huge uh, fucker and basically. Uh, they told the players to buy the in-game currency from the application itself, which means 100% of the profit will go to Epic Games, and not uh, and nothing will be going to Apple. So Apple said, um, "No, this is not good, and uh, you will have to pack your shit and leave this place, right? But uh, that will be a monopoly." You, you, you simply cannot kick me out if you're the only source of, uh, of um, let's say, a store. If, if you're the only store out there I that I can put there. my yeah, that I can put my merchandise in. So they uh, released a lawsuit against Apple and uh, Google, but Google kept it on the down low, and Apple was like uh, going all ham about it. They got their feelings hurt. And. Also so essentially, it's two greedy fucks fighting. No, I want to abuse children. No, I want to abuse children. It is. It is. Yes. But what's so cool about it is that someone has to do it. Uh, no, okay. The 30% <laughs> cut is just too much nowadays. Yeah? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, the main reason Epic Games is so aggressive by, uh, on like uh, acquiring exclusives for their Epic Games store is because they don't want to pay the $30 or the 30% to Steam, right? So um, they want to attract people into their store where they can get 100%. So they keep acquiring um, like IPs in order to do that, right? If somehow Epic Games pulls this off and they lower the 30% the, the commission to a 25% commission, so just a 5% drop, which is very reasonable for both sides. Um, you'll see a lot of video game companies that would benefit from it because they'll get more back from their games, more from the sixty dollars you pay or whatever amount, right? So it will benefit. Like lowering that thing, lowering that price range will benefit literally everyone except like uh, the store owners, like Steam. Uh, Epic, uh, Apple, and Google, like the, the hosts of the fucking place. So, if it's, it's if if Epic Games is gonna do that, fine, right? Somebody has to do it. But that would benefit they, all developers. I definitely developers. don't have a problem with it. But will they? They really? are. Do I, I have a single will. reason to trust them right now? It's not about trust. That's the premise of the lawsuit. They want to lower the commission rate. There is nothing they can cheat you on when that when it comes to that. Yeah. Okay, but after they acquire all the titles, you know, and you know, they have, you know, they can do whatever they want. Except they, they're not. They're acquiring certain IP, but they'll they won't need to. And maybe they'll release their shit on platforms like Steam if the price range is lowered. A twenty-five commission rate is very reasonable. I don't think they'll manage to do to drop it to twenty. That's a bit too much, I think. Twenty-five too would much. be believable. But, yeah, but twenty-five I don't think is a very very reasonable way. Way. It's, it's, um, it's just that they're getting screwed by the lawsuit itself. It's the fact that um, uh, Epic ignored what Apple, like Apple, what the Apple rules are, and just like removed the Apple microtransactions that are embedded into the app itself and put their own microtransactions. I actually denied to remove them when Apple asked. Them. It's just such a like, um, 
it's not gonna help them in their lawsuit. I'm gonna tell you that. It like, won't. No, but won't. then again, Apple can't kick them off the platform either. Mm -hmm. They can, but if you're, if you, it's gonna be that would be a monopoly. No, that would be a monopoly. That means you can kick off whoever you want. Yeah, right? And you're and the only you store. And you're the only store for for Apple products, which is already a monopoly. The whole market. So we have to reach a compromise. My problem with you is that your prices are too high. Your problem with me is that you want me to pay you. Well, let's reach a compromise, right? And if it becomes law and it drops down to 25% commission, that would be very, very interesting. Because, comp again, the developers benefit. To me, that's the most important part. They, that means they will either lower their prices, so that helps the consumer, or they'll get more money and therefore they wouldn't need to hit the $70 price range which everybody argues is going to be the future for uh, for like uh, AAA games. $70. Or oh, it's already AAA games are already doing it. Well, yep. Aside from our lovely Cyberpunk. <laughs> so um, I can see the benefits of this and I'm like, you know what, I'll give... I, I, I would cheer Epic Games for this one double. Everything else, I'm I still want to enjoy their format. But I would cheer them on just for but for the fact that developers will benefit. And I still the hate most... their company, but I'm with them on this one, as you said. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're they're but, trash. Yeah. I, I, they yeah, still robbed me of a couple of games I wanted to play. The argument that uh, Apple will use is that they made uh, the store from scratch and they gave some indie developers a voice and a platform to express themselves and mm -hmm. and that's what they're gonna follow yeah. you know i, used, yeah, I think uh, the more I, emotional uh, route. that won't work because maybe one day you used to be the beacon of hope but that doesn't mean you get to exploit us now right now before a 30 a 30 percent commission made sense because there weren't too many people on the store apple needed to make money off that of it for it to keep running but now nowadays, yeah. no, nowadays there's so much money flowing through these stores that that is no longer a concern. I Drop mean, it. look, look, we're discussing this from a moral standpoint. I think we're forgetting the legal standpoint here. Like, the thing is, who is Epic Games really going against here? Literally the entirety of Silicon Valley. Do you think they can win this? Yes. Because this won't oh. only hit this won't only hit Apple. This will hit Google. This will hit many Everybody. people. I will tell you why that's actually a point for Epic, not against it. Because the the like the U.S. law system, the EU, they want to undermine Silicon Valley as much as possible. They've been trying for like a decade now. This is a perfect time to slap them about. In fact, the, like the, like I, I I would like to think that. Uh, um, Epic Games, in this case, represents the 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 idea of the American company trying to break free from a mon monopoly. You know, we're looking at old school big oil. You know, so I can see the the law system sympathizing with Epic Games instead of uh, the big tech giants of Google and Apple. They've already slapped YouTube about. You know, they're, they're looking for any way to slap. You know, they slap. They slap Facebook. They slap. Uh, like they just want to remove as much power as they can from this, from this, from these huge companies. Uh, even Amazon. Like it got recently. Every time a worker complaint comes out, the entire fucking world's like, ha ha, Amazon. Let's re re let's reduce your stocks by ten percent. You know, like <laughs> like that joke. Like that joke. Why, why, why did Jeff Bezos uh, divorce his wife? Because he realized it's a union.